I'm Marnie Simmons. I um, have an aversion to sending waste to the landfill. I try to keep everything out of the landfill that I can. And so, being a quilter and otherwise a sewer, I collect t-shirts from people, uh, t-shirts they don't want. I cut them up and am making braided rugs now so that uh, t-shirts don't end up spending years to decompose. And I'm going to give you a very quick demonstration of how to break the t-shirt down in order to get it ready to braid into a rug. So I'm, I'm going to prepare the t-shirt in or, uh, to make a ball of yarn. What, what you do is lay the shirt out on a flat surface, preferably a cutting mat if you have one, and you start at one side of the t-shirt, the, the body of it, cut all the way except stop about an inch to two inches short of the, the other side. And then move up another inch or so, cut through, stop just short of the other side. There we go. And the last cut you'll take right off to the end. Now, the top part of the t-shirt can be used for another project someday. So what? now you've got all these strips that are joined at one end and you pick it up like this put it over your arm spread the strips out and we'll start cutting what we're doing is cutting on the diagonal so that we end up with the continuous loop around the t-shirt all the way to the top Okay, we'll make one more cut and then you'll be able to see how and then the last one you're just going to cut it diagonally so you end up with an end. So there we go. So here we end up with a long 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 strip of t-shirt fabric and just to keep my workspace tidy, I'm rolling it up into a, a ball of t-shirt yarn. And then once that's done, I'm going to attach it to my shortest piece that's left uh, here to braid the rug. And I just sew it by hand because it's, um, it's easy to do. Now we'll start the braiding process. I think most people know how to braid. Now these things, these long strips, tend to get really tangled up and it's frustrating. So what I've done is I've cut one pretty short just to simplify things for demonstration purposes. So I'll do a few braids and show you how the tangling happens. As you're braiding, Try to keep the seams uh, on the underside because that'll make for a, a neater top. Okay, so I'm, I'm getting tangled up here. So what I'm, what I'm going to do, what I've discovered is that if you keep one of the colors short, you can pull it through and then the other two automatically come apart. And you just keep going until you reach the end of one of your colors and that's a, a good place to stop. Anchor your last bit of braiding with um, an alligator clip and then go back to the mat and stitch that much together. So after standing up for a while braiding, it's really nice to sit down and stitch together what we've braided. So now I've said to my friends, I still don't know what I'm doing, but the, the whole idea is to just get all the, the little loops together. So I just keep, you know, stitching one to the other. And then here I would stitch the green one to the orange one just for an extra bit of security and then go down to that green one. Um, but, but you all have your own way of of sewing and um, it's whatever works for you. I try to get a lot of the braiding done at home 
so that um, I take the mat with me to the Pugwash Farmer's Market every Saturday morning and get most of my stitching done there as I'm saying good morning to people and waiting for them to ask about what I'm doing and it just makes for the most pleasant morning knowing that I'm keeping all of these scraps out of the landfill.